Welcome to Workflows for Z, VS Code Extension for ZOSMF Workflows. Workflows for Z lets you create a ZOSMF workflow definition file, generate an editable workflow variable input file from the workflow definition file, and validate ZOSMF workflow definition and action definition files. Before you start, ensure that you have installed the Visual Studio Code application, installed Java Development Kit version 8 or later, and set up the Java Home Path, downloaded IBM ZOSMF workflow task schema, and action file schema XSD files on your system. To install workflows for Z, open the Visual Studio Code application. Go to Extensions. Search for Workflows for Z in Marketplace and install. To run the initial settings for Workflows for Z, go to File, select Preferences, followed by Settings. Locate Extensions and Expand. In the list, select Workflows for Z. To enable validations, it is important to specify the downloaded workflow task schema path and action definition schema path. Check the box for auto validation for each save of the workflow files. Save the settings. To create a workflow definition file, open an empty XML file in the VS Code application. Enter ZOSMFW. Select ZOSMF workflow to open a basic workflow definition file. Select the value for auto take ownership. This option allows the user to authorize the workflow step to execute. Enter the workflow definition file information, that is, scope, workflow ID, name, description, version number, and vendor name. To add a workflow type, enter ZOSMF WOR and select type from the options. Under the Variable section, enter ZOSMFV and select ZOSMF Variable to add a variable for the workflow. Enter the variable values that is name, scope, visibility, label, description, and category. Enter and select the variable type. Next, specify the presets to validate the variable value. Under Steps, enter and select the ZOSMF step. Add step details that is name, title, description, instructions, weight, and skills. Under Template, type ZOSMF template and select Inline Template. Add the actual code and enter the code details. Save the workflow. Workflows for Z auto-validates the workflow on each save. You can also use the Validate Workflow command. To generate variable input files from the workflow definition file, run the command Generate Variable Input File. The extension generates the editable variable input file based on the list of variables that are defined in the workflow definition file. To validate the action definition file for cloud provisioning templates, Against the ZOSMF action file schema, open the file VS Code application. Run the validate action file command. You can see the notification if the action definition file is valid. Thank you for watching.